Hi, you've clicked onto the Tropical Dibbit for Friday, June 3rd, 2016. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service. Well, we're watching the Caribbean now, uh, just a couple days after the official start of the hurricane season, and we are watching a disturbance here in the Western Caribbean. Uh, this is due to a conglomeration of factors that have come together here. We have a tropical wave coming out of the east. We have a burst of fast trade winds coming through the Caribbean as the low-level ridge rebuilds uh, north of the Lesser Antilles, and uh, this is causing convergence, piling up of air in the western side of the Caribbean, which is allowing air to rise, creating all of this thunderstorm activity. And we also have on the large scale, uh, the MJO in general is kind of over this region, along with a Kelvin wave superimposed on it, is allowing the western hemisphere to have higher convective activity in general. And so this area is uh, active with thunderstorms all these things coming together to allow uh, a little area of low pressure to begin developing here uh, to the east of Honduras. And this is still in its formative stages. You see this area of convection here. If we zoom in on it, actually look at some of the wind flow here, you'll see the trade winds coming out of the east-southeast on the east side. You'll see slower trades to the west. So again, faster air moving slower on this side means that it's piling up in general in the middle. That's why you're getting all these thunderstorms. And if you look down here, is there actually a low center? Well, you'll see some of these clouds coming out of the south to the east of Nicaragua here. And so you might think, well, all right, there's a south wind. Well, this is a kind of an alto stratus deck here. And this is really not at the surface, most likely. This is not an actual surface south-southwest wind, more like a mid-level south-southwest wind. So what's likely going on is you have some very slight turning of east-southeast to more easterly winds in the low levels, and then the mid-levels we have the southerly wind and then easterly wind, and so this is our tropical wave axis somewhere in here, moving to the Nicaragua-Honduras coastline here, continuing toward the northwest. Most of the thunderstorms near and east of the wave axis, and this will now progress toward the Yucatan Peninsula. And by the time this whole thing gets into this area, it's going to slow down because all the trade winds slow down here, so it will be pushed west uh, slower. And most of this air is going to begin turning northward because we'll have this low level ridge building in to the east. And we have this upper level trough that we can see in water vapor imagery over Texas right now. And this will continue digging over Mexico in the western Gulf of Mexico during the coming days. And so all of this moisture that is currently coming from the Caribbean out of the east is going to get redirected north and northeastward into the eastern Gulf of Mexico and eventually Florida. So as this whole mass makes it over to the Yucatan Peninsula, it'll start turning north here and we'll start getting this funnel of moisture um, toward Florida. And so that's what we're watching is whether this will be able to not only bring moisture into the Gulf, but also eventually develop as this whole mass uh, slowly moves north. Will it be able to form a closed low pressure area and perhaps uh, give us a tropical storm formation at some point. This is the European model showing what's going on by tonight. This is Friday night. You see this area of uh, slightly enhanced low level vorticity near the northern coast of Honduras. Nothing much going on just yet. It then slows down by Saturday night. You see it start moving north and we have a slightly more pronounced trough east of the Yucatan. And then by Sunday night, we actually have a closed low forming on the European as it moves through the Yucatan Channel and into the Eastern Gulf. And nearly every model right now is in unanimous agreement that some kind of closed low will form in this spot in a couple of days. And then by uh, Monday night, you see the storm start moving toward the Northeast here, toward Florida. Now again, this big upper trough sitting over the Western Gulf, there'll be another trough kind of off the screen to the north here over the Northeast US. Those two troughs will promote southwesterly flow that will easily direct anything that comes out of the Caribbean right across the Florida Peninsula somewhere. This is very unlikely to take any other path such as due north into the Gulf Coast. This is very likely to get recurved immediately across the Florida Peninsula. And that's what the European shows here. You'll see the system west of Tampa Bay and then by uh, Tuesday night, you'll see it cross Florida and then begin moving very quickly off to the Northeast and then out to sea here. And uh, it may strengthen out to sea, but perhaps of non-tropical uh, sources there. Uh, we may not see this actually strengthening into any hurricane-like thing out in the Western Atlantic, but at this point, it will not be a threat to any land areas except potentially Bermuda in the longer term. 
Now, how much can it develop while it's over here in the Gulf? Uh, is this going to be a hurricane threat for Florida? And the answer is likely no. This is a fairly typical early season style development where you get this area of convection in the Caribbean and then it begins to move north. But the thing about this time of year is it's early June. So you see this upper low spinning in here. There's almost always one of these to the west of whatever is going on here. So you have this enhanced southwesterly flow aloft. And what this causes is basically a wall of uh, southwesterly shear over the Gulf of Mexico and as this moves up into it it will become progressively more sheared and you'll get a lopsided type system with almost all of the heavy weather on the eastern side of whatever closed low forms. So although, the, although the European here has a closed low this is not a very strong closed low and it's likely that all of the heavy wind, rain, um, and flooding potential will be on the eastern side of the system and you'll see a, a pretty barren west side and the center will likely be perhaps even exposed um, not covered in thunderstorms during most of its life. This is a fairly typical type of system. We saw Andrea in 2013 looked like this, Debbie 2012 kind of looked like this, uh, Barry 2007, Alberto 2006. Uh, these kind of storms are very typical for June coming out of the Caribbean and moving into Florida um, due to troughs to their west, both shearing them and also steering them toward the northeast. So this is fairly typical, but the threat, regardless of any kind of tropical development, is going to be the very heavy rains that will be falling on the eastern side. And as this crosses Florida, this is the uh, WPC outlook for rainfall for the next five days. You can see totals up to six, seven, eight inches being shown here across Florida. So flooding a concern, uh, very heavy rains likely to be the primary impact of this system, this lopsided messy system with a fire hose of moisture coming out of the Caribbean. So this is the NHC outlook. Uh, this is showing a medium potential of 60% chance for some kind of tropical storm formation as the system moves through the Gulf of Mexico and into Florida. And after crossing Florida, it is likely to transition to a non-tropical system and uh, will not be affecting any further land areas except potentially Bermuda as this moves off to the east-northeast very quickly after it crosses Florida. So uh, primarily a Yucatan area, uh, Cuba, heavy rain threat in those areas, and then Florida uh, perhaps uh, getting an actual tropical storm, which would be named Colin, uh, crossing the area by Monday and Tuesday. So we'll be keeping an eye on this over the next several days. Again, the primary threat at this point likely to be very heavy rains moving northward. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.